Hi there, my name is Amanda Hill and in this video we're going to talk about repurposing social stuff. So what the heck does that even mean? It means you create something once, you make it simple for yourself and you can use it in different formats. So if you are posting on different places, then you can do it so much easier. So let's go and take a peek at what I use to do it. And I love this. This is Canva. Personally, I use a premium version, which I pay an annual subscription for. Everybody who works with us gets this at a vastly reduced rate. So we're very happy to help people that we have been working with. So why do I love this so much? Well, I can create everything from a logo to a planner to training. I can even create websites, but the easiest thing is I can reproduce what I've already done. So you can see the little banner here that was at the top of my screen on my Facebook page. I use this banner on LinkedIn too. Now this was actually created for LinkedIn and I've realized that a slightly shorter version fits beautifully in Facebook too. So let's take a peek at this and see what I have done and what I can do to change it. So here we go. This is something that I created earlier. Now it seems to have lost the background. So let's just go and find a different version. What I've done is I've set my own custom colors and I've set my own brand colors. If you like, you can see these um, teal greens and sort of the purpley pinks everywhere. So by doing that, what I can then do is I can save it in here and never have to worry about it again. So it's set down in my brand section, but if you just create it in the free version once and keep it, then you can just redo it again. So all I now need to do is just change varying bits and pieces on here. So I'm not gonna need the link to this free planner. <clears throat> I can take out the two pictures on here and now I can decide what am I going to do with this? So what do I want from my social today? So actually there's varying things I want to do. I want to ask a question. I want to ask what time or what type of training do you want? Do you want training in person? or online. So this is my water cooler question. And what I want to know is what people actually want. So there's varying things I can do now. I can actually go and look at pictures and I can search for meetings and see what it gives me. So there's a great picture that I can use. Now, do I want all of that? Now, by using this little button here, I can actually take out part of it. By picking it up on the corner, I can actually make it a bit smaller. So if you actually see the screen, you can see there's little guidelines that are just moving that around for me. Now, I actually now want an online one. And again, there's bits of this that I don't want. So let's just take that out and let's just mooch it a little bit. There you go. Now I could just line it up on here and make it the same size, just because I'm really bad like that. Now you can see again, it's using the little lines to guide it. So that's what I want to do. I want to put a question mark in it because this is a question. This is something I want the answer to. Questions are amazing for online content, especially if it's something lots of people need to know. I've just spotted a little error in here as well. So I can either, there you go, I've just corrected that. So do I like the look of that? Nearly. It's not quite where, there you go. 
So now I'm just going to download it. So how am I going to download it? This is where this gets really clever. So what I could do is I could turn this into a video and I can post it as a video. Now what it'll actually do is it'll just zoom in and zoom out. But if I'm posting it on Facebook as a video, it actually goes into somewhere different. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm actually just going to download it as a high quality uh, PNG or a JPEG. So whichever works for you. And what I also do is I put it in a section on my computer that says social. So what I can actually do then is go back to stuff that I've used in the past and then I can reuse it or I can repurpose and change it slightly or I can ask a slightly different version of the same question and this computer is now not giving me where I want it to go. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. I'm going to call it training question. Now one of the reasons that I'm calling it something with question in is I know that questions get people talking. So if I'm looking for something that I've used in the past and I will move that to where it needs to go, if I just search question it'll actually give me everything I've ever done before. Now this setup here is actually set up for a Facebook post and when I create them I just type in Facebook post template and then I've amended it and done whatever I want. So let's go out to Facebook and let's go and do something with it. So this is a question I want the world to see. So what I would do is I would post it on my wall. So this needs to be set to public. Now I can actually change this to custom lists but for now, I'm going to leave it public because that's what I want the audience for. Think about hashtags as well, because again, these are going elsewhere. So who is the audience that you're trying to ask the question of? Who do you really want the answers from? So I'm going to use the term water cooler, except I can't spell today. Do you prefer training in person in a venue or online, please? Let's get rid of this, but it seems to be popping up as well. So what hashtags do I want to be found for? So training, business. Anyone? I think we'll live with that for now and then let's go and find our lovely picture which I put on my desktop and I can just look for question. Training question. So do you prefer training in person or in a venue, in a venue or online these days? So there's the picture. It looks on brand me because that's what I've decided it's going to be. And it's got the two things, one either side. And then I'm going to post it and see what happens. Now, there's other things I could be doing here. I could be tagging people. I could be um, putting a check in of where I am. Now, if you do have a venue or in a place where you're doing that, that's a really cool call tagging. You should only ever tag people who are very comfortable with it and who it actually really does relate to. Um, now if I tag for example my very lovely friend Sam who has taught with me then she will probably respond. So by tagging her I know I'm going to get at least one response. I also know she won't mind. Sam is another trainer and she's very lovely and she understands all of this. But what I wouldn't do 
is go and tag some high profile person and try and harness the use of their social. That's really not very good use. So let's post that and see what responses we get. Now, what I can also do is go back into Canva and I can talk about what it is I've just created. Let's go and find it again. Obviously having two million things open at once is not doing me any favors at all right now. See if we can find the one we've just had open. Now, Canva has a really cool feature on it where you can actually talk over a video and then you can save it and do something with it. There you go, this is the one that I've got. So by opening this, what I can actually do is I could actually talk over what I've done and I can actually do a video of it as well. Or like I said earlier, I can just download it as a video. So let's just download it and show you what that looks like. Now, if I was going to go and use that in another place, for example, LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is um, a business place, then I might just change what I've posted on there slightly. Now, LinkedIn will allow me to put a poll up there as well. And polls last for days in LinkedIn. So by putting a poll up on LinkedIn with that picture, I've made it very visual. The green's very calming. And I've made it easy for people to answer the question. So that doesn't work very well as a video. So I'm glad I've tested it before I've posted it. Um, I would need to actually do some changes to this to make that work well as a video. And right now it doesn't. So I'm not going to use it as a video. But let's just look at LinkedIn and I'll show you how that same content can actually be used again. Oh, and here is my very lovely friend, Sam Marshall, um, talking about personal development, bless her. So um, I'm creating a post. As you can see, they're also talking about hashtags here too. Now, here's where you create a poll. And my question is, do you prefer online training courses? For real time, real people in a venue. So I'm putting online only if I can remember how to spell. And venue based with people. Okay. So I can decide on my poll duration, one day, three days, a week is quite a nice one. So I can now post that. And now I can get more up to date, more business like. With the changes in the world. Oh, I'm going too fast, aren't I? Are you ready to get back to the classroom? Environment, or do you still prefer online? So back to hashtags again, training and business. I could have put COVID as well, but I'm really not going to. Now we do have a picture, but because we've put a poll, it's not letting us. But if I do want to put the picture underneath it, I can post it. So let's just post that. And that now means I've aimed at a different audience. It's incredibly important that you understand who the audience is that you are aiming for. Because if you have a target, you know when you've hit it. If you just post things out for no reason with no audience in mind, 
not only do they not think you're talking to them, but you can get very odd results. So specifically, I am looking for people who want training or have had training or may train. Um, and it's understanding what their wants and needs are. So I've been very specific. I've currently used it in two places. I might do a video talking over all of it, a bit like I'm doing now. And then I can post that on YouTube as well with even more keywords and even more opportunities for people to find what I'm talking about. So that's why I've done it like that. Lots of different reasons, but all ultimately coming back to who is my audience and what do I want them to do? Hope that's been helpful to you.